All right, uh, the uh, topic I'm going to cover today is how to replace a broken handle on a piece of luggage. Here in this case, it's a uh, Samsonite, I guess a, it's a world proof uh, suitcase. I uh, typically use this as a check bag, and uh, I've had this for a number of years, and it's been uh, fine. It's a, it's a wheeled piece of luggage, and uh, it's got this strap uh, along the long end. It also has the the extension handle here on the top, but the handle here, which has been removed, is uh, was broken, and it's been sitting for some time. And uh, just recently realized that the handle was no longer good when I packed up and I grabbed it, and then the handle had cracked. You could see that it had become brittle. So I'm going to show you how to remove the existing handle and then replace it with a compatible replacement instead of having to replace the bag. So uh, let's get to it. Now the first step here is you want to get to the underside of where the handle connects. And you'll see that it's connected uh, by means of a few Phillips head screws. The liner here, you want to go ahead and look around the edge of the liner. There's actually a zipper. You'll find a zipper and then you can go ahead and unzip the inner suitcase liner to get to the underside and here is where there's a, uh, a kind of like a retaining bar for the handle. If you also have to replace or service the retractable handle you'll see that whole unit is down below but we're just going to deal with the upper handle here today and of course when I gave the airlines my uh, suitcase the handle was there, uh, it was broken um, I got it back, the handle was gone, and there are just a couple of pieces here of plastic that remained. Um, but not a big deal. We can go ahead and replace this here. Now you'll see, you got a few Phillips head screws, two on each side. You want to go ahead and uh, unscrew those. These were previously loosened up here, so it's going to be a little bit easier and quicker for me. One, two on each side. Okay. All right, make sure you don't lose them. You'll notice the screws, they have a, there's a uh, washer here that uh, kind of pre prevents the head from pulling through. Um, so you want to make sure you can hold on to these screws. Normally when you find a replacement handle, it may very well come with a new set of screws and washers. All right, now, once the screws are released, this bracket here will come out. And you might want to use this, and you're going to look at the measurements between the screw holes to find a compatible replacement. On the other side here, here are the, the ends here. And uh, unless you go through the manufacturer, you might not be able to find an exact replacement here. I'm going to try to go ahead and retain these. It's got the Samsonite logo and the hardware color matches uh, the hardware on the bag. Also, you know, underneath it, you have the screw holes, and there's like a little plastic plate here that uh, that connects into, and then it connects to the screws that are tightened from within. So retain all that hardware, and then in order to find a replacement part, they're normally sized out by the space in between the inner holes. Here it's about six and three quarters, as well as the space between the outer holes, which here is about nine and a half, as well as the space in between the holes on either side. And this is just about one and, let's see here, one and three eighths, okay? But you wanna make sure that you measure and ensure that when you order a replacement part, the measurements add up. It might not be a perfect match, but you want to get as close as you possibly can. Uh, there are plenty of available 
replacement kits on Amazon aftermarket. I couldn't seem to find anything through Samsonite, so I went ahead and ordered it through Amazon. And uh, this is here what I got. Pretty simple, nondescript little box. And here, this one actually even comes with not only the handle and, you know, it seems adequate, okay? The handle, and it also comes with a screwdriver, as well as kind of like the hardware to include the end caps. But again, I still have my original end caps. I'm gonna wanna retain and use these, and I'll probably set these uh, new ones aside. And here are the hardware screws as well as the washers. I'm going to see if I can reuse the existing, but uh, you know, you'd notice that you will get screws as well. They're here. There are some short screws and there are some long screws. Just real quick to show you how these handles engage with the end caps or the clips here. Here's the new clip that uh, I received. Again, I'm going to use the original. Here there's a little bracket and you want to make sure you set it the correct way inside and then you make sure that that little uh, U bracket hooks around that screw shaft and that's what locks it into place when it's screwed in and connected to the bag. Here in my existing I'm gonna make sure I loop that over because as you use the handle, it should flex outward as you're lifting, and then it should lay flat when not in use. All right, here's the new handle. Here's the existing end cap. Now these again had a little plastic plate underneath them. So I'm gonna go ahead and make sure the handle is in the correct orientation. Put that little U-bracket around the screw shaft. Put the plastic plate underneath it, line up the holes, the original holes in the bag, and there it goes, and then I'll screw it from underneath. The same thing on the other side. Okay, get the U bracket through the screw shaft, and I'm gonna go ahead and put that little plate as well. The little, in this case, the screw shafts go through holes in the plate, and this is essentially what you have. Now I just want to line it up with the existing holes in the bag. Okay, it's not going to be perfect necessarily unless you get a uh, original replacement from the manufacturer, but it will certainly suffice. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and hold it in place and then I'll capture the footage from the inside of the suitcase to install the screws. And I'm going to use the original screws. All right, now while I'm holding the new handle, from the outside of the luggage case. I'm gonna go ahead and install this bracket, and this is really, uh, I thought it was metal, this is actually plastic. I'm gonna go ahead and put this back in place underneath the liner, line it up with the, the screw holes, and then I'm gonna go ahead and use, I'm gonna use the original hardware here, and I'm gonna go ahead and put the screws with the washers back through the holes and find uh, the hardware, connect with the hardware on the outside. Just hand tighten it initially. Okay, get the second screw on this side. Make sure everything's lined up. Okay. Screw it in, fill up screwdriver, at least pre tighten it, and then we'll go ahead and address the other side. Make sure the washers are on the inside of the bracket. Just check things on the outside of the case and make sure everything is lined up, that nothing is shifted. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and get to the other side.
Okay, I'm holding and bracing the, uh, the bracket on the outside. Line up the holes on the inside. Shift the liner aside. And tighten the screws. Hopefully that you're finding the right spot. Might need to jiggle around a little bit. Eventually you should find your mark. Again, make sure when you order the replacement part that you get your dimensions correct. Okay, seems like one of the screws is not lining up here. This one feels right. Okay, Let's see this one seems like it's not finding its, its spot. Seems like it's okay now. I go back and double check everything. In fact, this one doesn't seem like it found it correctly, so I'm gonna have to just readjust that. Okay, it should be it should be screwing in straight. This one's going in at an angle. All right, if you have any trouble finding the holes from for the screws from within inside the suitcase, you can kind of pull the handle out and ensure that the screws are meeting up with the the thread areas where they need to go here. I had to do that and going back and forth a little bit until the screws are securely biting in and now I'll go ahead and tighten it from within. Side. I have to leverage it from inside and from outside to make sure the screws are meeting up with the, the threads that they need to. Could be a little challenging, shouldn't be that bad. Sure everything meet, meets up, tighten down inside. Everything should bite down nicely. Okay, there we go. Tighten down. And you just want to go across and verify everything looks good from within and from outside. The screws are biting down tightly. Okay. There we go. There we go. Okay, one more check. Okay. Okay, alright, once you got all that done here, you're almost through, just find the zipper, zip the liner, close it again, and we'll go ahead and have a look at the results. Alright, and here we have the end result, here's the new handle, the original hardware, and you see the handle will, uh, will pull out a little bit, allow you to carry the bag, it will uh, you know, reset and, and push flush or flat for the most part. Um, not a perfect, but pretty darn close. And this was absolutely a suitable result here. So this is good to go for uh, traveling, hopefully for uh, many more uh, safe trips. 
So hopefully that helped you. I'll post some links to some uh, suitcase uh, handle replacement hardware on Amazon. Um, thank you for watching. Hope this helped you and uh, safe travels. Thank you.